Hi guys, Eddie with Exvault here, and today I'm joined by Elizabeth, our head of client services. Hi everyone. And we're going to chat about Sharing 101, is that right? That is right. We're going to untangle all of the different sharing options and help you select the ones that make the most sense for your business. Are there really that many different ways to share files and folders with Exavault? We actually have five different ways to let others access files and folders in your Exavault account. One, you can create user accounts. Two, you can send links to individual files and folders on your account. Three, you can create shared folders that others can access to upload and download files. This back and forth provides an easy way to collaborate on projects together. Four, you can create receive folders that others can use to upload files to you. Five, you can embed the form associated with the receive folder into your website. All of these have a number of features in common, including email notification of access, the ability to send out invitations from Exvault, and logging of all file access. Wow, that is a lot of options. Okay, let's start at the top. Why would I want to create user accounts? Well, there are a number of benefits to creating individual users on your account. This is actually the traditional method. Each person accessing your account gets their own username and password. You can assign each user to a home folder to make sure that they are only seeing the files and folders you want them to see. This is also the only sharing option that will allow them to use an FTP client instead of a web browser. Why use your accounts over some of the other sharing options? For some types of transfers, we require usernames and passwords. Specifically, FTP, FTPS, and SFTP access all have to have a username and password if you're going to access that in your Exavault account. It also can be a little easier to review the auditing activity since each user will have an assigned username rather than providing an email address. Finally, if you're sharing extremely large files, say something over 5 or 10 gigs, you'll probably want to use this option so that your recipients can use an FTP client rather than a web browser to download and upload files. How do I start adding users? To get started with adding users to your account, just head on over to the users page in your web interface and you can click the add new user to start adding new users. That makes sense. So how does the send files option work? The send files option is the sharing option that I like to think of as the really big email attachment. It's great for those instances where you have a lot of information to share, but it won't fit in an email or it's too confidential to go by email. What are the advantages of using send links? This option lets you send files and folders that are located on your local computer or already uploaded in your Exavault account or even a combination. We'll make a copy of all those files behind the scenes and create a special web link that points to that copied location. Your customer or contact receives the web link to access only those files. It's a good option if you need to send files on a one-time basis to a contact without needing to receive files back in return. Send links automatically expire, so if you want to make sure that your recipients can only access the files for a limited time, this is the option for you. To get started with sending files, click the sharing tab and you'll be taken directly to the send files page. All you have to do is fill out this form to send those files. So sending files should be used for one-time sends or cases when you need the files to only be available for a short time. How do shared folders work then? Shared folders also use a web link that will open up in a web browser, just like send files. The difference is that the shared folders link goes directly to a live location in your account. This is a great option for times where you have an ongoing exchange of files, but you don't want to have to maintain your user table. We've seen this option used successfully for workflows like collaborating on a creative project where multiple people in different locations need to access the same files. It can also be an easy way to distribute files that will need occasional updates, such as user manuals or promotional materials. If you make changes to the files in the share, those changed files are immediately available without having to send a new link to the people who already have access to the share. By default, a shared folder link will only let the recipient download files, but you can change the permissions to allow others to upload or even delete files at the location. How would I get started? To start sharing a folder, find the folder in your account, click the sharing button on the far right to turn it into a shared folder, and then you can edit the settings to meet your needs. So a shared folder is a way to grant permanent access to a folder in your account that is available without needing a username or password combination. That's right. The link will work as long as the account is active or until you deactivate the share. And then we have receive folders. Am I guessing correctly that this has something to do with receiving files into your account? Ah, you win a prize. Receiving folders lets you designate a folder on your account and lets others put files into that folder, all without ever logging in or even seeing the Exavault interface. With receive folders, you select a folder. We provide a web link, just like with shared folders and send files, that link points to a simple form that gets filled out and includes a spot to attach the files for upload. As soon as the form is submitted, the files are uploaded into your account. What are some situations where a receive folder makes sense? Anytime you need to have people outside your organization upload files to you, it's good to consider a receive folder. 
The web form is easy to use and opens up right in your favorite browser, so you don't have to worry about training people how to use yet another piece of software. We've seen receipt folders used for placing printing orders or photography processing on a website. The customer fills out an order form on the site and then is taken to an embedded version of the Exavault receipt form. We've also seen receipt folders used for submitting screenshots and supporting info for tech support requests, for sending supporting documentation for job or school applications, and as a way to submit artwork or documents for contests. There are a ton of possibilities. How do we start with the receipt folders? To get started with receipt folders, find the folder you want to use as the destination. Use the pull-down menu on the right to change the folder type to receive, and then you can edit the settings as needed. Some of the scenarios sound pretty complex. Do I need to be a programmer to use the receipt folder? For the majority of the functions with receipt folders, you absolutely don't need to be a programmer. Great, because I am not a programmer. We include a standard form that goes along with your receipt folder. You have an option to just send the link out by email and that link will take people right to the form. We also include the ability to change the fields on that form without doing any programming. If you want to embed the form on your site, we'll give you the code snippet to include right in your web page. No extra programming needed. If you want to integrate it fully into your own form on your own website, that will take a little more work and you'll want to have your web development folks take a look at our integration documentation. And if you get stuck, you can always reach out to us at support for more help. So we covered a lot of ground today from user logins to one-time sends to shared folders and received folders. It sounds like Exavault has a file sharing solution for every business workflow. We sure do. Thanks for taking the time to share all the Sharing 101 info with us today, Elizabeth. You're welcome. If you have questions about sharing, reach out to Elizabeth at support at exavault.com. Thanks for watching our video about sharing files and folders with your Exavault account. Like, share, and subscribe if you found it useful.